My name is Usman Samba. I've been uh, doing front-end development uh, for the seven, past seven years. But in the beginning, let's say, the, uh, in the beginning we are do, I was doing uh, full-stack development, which is the mix of back-end development and front-end development. And then for, uh, over the years, I, I just slightly moved from the full-stack developer to uh, front-end developer. Front-end engineer, we, we can say that it's um, it's a, a, anything between a designer, which use Photoshop and all that stuff, to a full developer. So anything between those two is a front-end developer. So it can be very wide. Also, it can it can be very specific. But the objective of a front-end developer is just to build intuitive and very uh, useful user experience. Like, so the interaction between the end user and the platform that the front-end developer will be building should be very nice and very, like, very easy for, for the user. So that's this front-end front -end developer. Okay, the project I worked on, I will see two of them. Uh, the first is MyFitSuite, which is an, an app, a web application that allows clients to find specialists uh, for example, it can be a personal trainer on a website. So the idea is the client can search for a personal trainer around his area and once he finds it, he can book it and have a session with him. And also the, the, the specialists have also an interface to manage all his client and money and all, all, all the operation that he is doing on the website. That is the first project that, for the U.S. market. And I have also worked on another project, which is uh, Child Fund Accounting, which is an accounting app, as the name uh, says it, that allows Child Fund to manage all his financial operation in Ethiopia. So in one interface, in one, one web interface, they are, they are able to manage all the fin financial operation. Those are the most exciting projects I have worked on. To become front-end um, front developer or engineer, there are like uh, some tools that, you, that everyone needs to understand, which is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Those are the main tools that you use to build a web page. But now, in order to become a good front-end developer, you need other skills, like some Photoshop. You need to be able to manipulate um, some images through a tool like Photoshop or any kind of application that look like Photoshop. And also, you need uh, to understand about web architecture. So you need to understand how uh, a, um, a, a single application is, is built in order to build the interface for that. Because at the end of the day, you are the person building the interface that the end user will interact with. So you need uh, like to understand how it works in order to do that. And also another very good skills that everyone need to have, every front-end developer need to have, is um, the communication. Because uh, doing, being a developer is not, is not just sitting in the office and doing stuff on your computer, but it's also communicating with your team, with the client, with some end user for the testing and stuff. So you need to have good communication skills. But overall, like the most important thing is the experience. But because throughout the projects you worked on and throughout the different clients you interact with, you learn a lot and to that experience is just the most valuable thing that you can get in a, um, um, in, throughout your, your career. So, yeah. so if you want to be an experienced front-end developer um, and you want to have that experience and uh, be in the market right now, Gebea is the, uh, is the place to learn and get that experience fast. So sign up at Gebea, that training, and join my class.